No one should put this many hours into work. This is not good. And people should not work this hard. I'm not, they should not do this. This is too, it's very painful. Painful in what sense? It's, it, hurts my, it hurts my brain and my heart. It hurts. This is not recommended for anyone. I just did it because if I didn't do it, then Tesla, good chance Tesla would die. When my brother and I were starting our first company, uh, in, instead of getting an apartment, we just rented a, a small office and we slept on the couch. Uh, and we, we showered at the, the YMCA. And uh, we're, we're so hot up, we had just one computer. So the, 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 the website was up during the day uh, and I was coding at night. Seven days a week, all the time. Um, and I, I uh, sort of briefly had a girlfriend in that period. And in order to be with me, she had to sleep in the office. So. Uh, Work hard, like, it, it, I mean, every waking hour. That's that's the the thing I would I would say. If if you particularly if you're starting a company, um, and I mean, if you do simple math, say like, okay, if somebody else is working 50 hours and you're working 100, uh, you'll get twice as done as much done in the course of a year as the, as uh, the other company. I mean, Tesla really faced a severe uh, thre threat of death uh, due to the Model 3 production ramp. Essentially, the company was bleeding money like crazy, and, and just if, if we didn't solve these problems in a very short period of time, uh, we would die. Uh, and it was extremely difficult to solve them. How close to death did you come? We, you know, within single digit weeks. 22 hours a day? Or like what, how many hours? I was working, yeah, so seven days a week, sleeping in the factory. Uh, I, worked from the, I, worked in the, I worked in the paint shop, general assembly, body shop. You ever worry about yourself imploding? Like it's just yeah, too much? Yeah, absolutely. If, if you're creating a company or if you're joining a company, uh, the most important thing is to uh, attract, is to attract great people. So either be with, join a group that's amazing that you really respect, or if, you, if you're building a company, you've got to gather great people. I mean, all a company is is a group of people that have gathered together to create a product or service. And so depending upon how talented and hardworking that group is and the degree to which they are focused uh, cohesively in, in a good direction, that will determine the success of the company. So do everything you can to, to gather great people uh, if, if you're creating a company. It's good to think in terms of the, the physics approach of first principles, uh, which is rather than reasoning by analogy, you boil things down to the most fundamental truths you can imagine and you reason up from there. And this is a good way to figure out if, if, if something really makes sense or if it's just what everybody else is doing. Um, it, it, it's hard to think that way. You can't think, think that way about everything. It takes a lot of effort. Uh, but if you're trying to do something new, it's the best way to think. Um, and that framework was developed by, by physicists to figure out counterintuitive things um, like quantum mechanics. So, it's really a powerful, powerful method. That it's just you have to apply a lot of hours to actual working, actually working. So the, the way I generally do it is I'll be uh, working at SpaceX on Monday and then Monday night fly to the Bay Area, uh, spend Tuesday and Wednesday in the Bay Area, then at, at Tesla and then fly back on Wednesday night Spend Thursday and Friday at SpaceX. Um, in, in, in the last several months, then I, I would fly back here on a Saturday um, and either spend Saturday and Sunday at Tesla uh, or spend Saturday at Tesla and Sunday at SpaceX. Just showing up is half the battle. <laughs> Just, you know, you, you got to try hard to do it and don't be afraid of failure. Um, you also need to be rooted in reality. Um, so you shouldn't. It's easy to get high in your own supply. You've got to not be afraid to innovate, but also don't delude yourself into thinking something's working when it's not, um, or you're going to get fixated on a, on a bad solution. Yeah, you know, don't be afraid of new arenas. Uh, you know, you can get a book, you can learn something, um, and and experiment with your hands, and you know, just make it happen. Find a way or make a way to, to get something done. But I think people can choose to be not ordinary. You know, they 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 can choose to not necessarily conform to the conventions that were taught to them by their parents. Um, so yes, I think, I think it's possible for ordinary people to choose to be 
extraordinary. If somebody is doing something that is useful to the rest of society, I think that's a good thing. Like, it doesn't have to change the world. Like, you know, um, if you're doing something that has high value to, to people, if it has a small amount of, of good uh, for a large number of people, um, that's, I mean, I think that's, that's fine. Like, stuff doesn't need to be changed the world just to be good. Being focused on something that you're confident will have high value to someone else, um, and just being really rigorous in making that assessment, mm -hmm. um, because people are, tend, tend to, a natural human tendency is wishful thinking. Um, mm -hmm. So a, a challenge for entrepreneurs is to say, well, what's the difference between really believing in your ideals and sticking, sticking to them versus pursuing some unrealistic dream that right. doesn't actually have merit? And it's, it's, that, is a, it, that is a really difficult thing to, to tell you. Can you tell the difference between those two things? Right. You know? So you need to be sort of very rigorous um, in, in your self-analysis. Uh, self um, I think certainly extremely tenacious, uh, and um, and then just work like hell. I mean, you just have to put in, you know, 80 hour, 80 to 100 hour weeks every week. But the, all those things improve the odds of success. Okay. Um, right. I mean, if, if 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 other people are putting in 40 hour work weeks and you're putting in 100 hour work weeks, then even if uh, you're doing the same thing, you know that. In, in one year, you will achieve what they achieve. You, you, you will achieve in four months what it takes them a year to achieve. You construct this, like there's this you know, great holy grail potential in the future. Um, you, you have to stay grounded in the short term. So, you know, because if, if you don't do things that pay the bills, you're not going to have, uh, you're not going to achieve the ultimate long term objective. Um, but it's nice to have that sort of holy grail uh, long term potential out there as inspiration for for coming to work. It's, it's really a mindset. You have to decide we're going to try to do things uh, differently. Well, provided that they're better. You shouldn't do things differently just because they're different. They need to be different and better. Um, but I think you just have to sort of decide. Let's let's think beyond the normal stuff and and um, and, and have an environment where that sort of thinking is encouraged and rewarded. Um, and where it's okay to fail as well, because when you try new things, you try this idea, that idea, <clears throat> well, <clears throat> a large number of them are not going to work. And that has to be okay. If, 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 any, if, if every time somebody comes up with an idea that has to be successful, you're not going to get people coming up with ideas. You had that third failure in a row. Did you think, I need to pack this in? Never. Why not? I don't ever give up. I mean, I'd have to be dead or completely incapacitated.